In this world full of voices vying for attention, remember that your uniqueness is a gift from God. And the devil wants to take your uniqueness away. He wants to render you stuck. He wants to keep you in that place where you didn't have a voice. Your uniqueness is your voice. And so now he's sending you the pressures, external pressures from others who want you to stay stuck, to take that same voice away from you. You can't use someone else's voice and be unique. You have to use your own voice through growth in Christ. God wants you to find your voice in Him. The uniqueness that comes from your struggle, not someone else's. 1 Peter 4 says, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. And this is how you glorify God for the uniqueness He's entrusted in you. And Esther 4 says, and who knows, but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. And Galatians reminds us, we should seek God's approval above all else, not the approval of those behind the scenes influencing you to compare yourselves with others. So let go of comparisons and trust that you are designed by God for a reason.